Okay, so uh, today we're going to take a look at some older wiring. We're going to go back in history a little bit, back into the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, and wire an electrical outlet and uh, see how it's different than it's done today. So back in the day we had uh, two wires without a ground, a plain white, and then the uh, one with the, the four darker tracers in it. See the tracers in the wire? That's like our black wire today. And the one without a tracer in it is the neutral. And uh, this is all number 14. So I'll strip the wires so you can see, and I'll show you the insulation. Okay, so you can uh, see the rubber underneath the cloth on this type of older wire. This was very common in the 30s and 40s. So this is going to be the power coming in and this is going to be the power going out. No, oh, I take it back. This is the one that's going out and this is the one that's no, this is the one coming in, and this is the one that's going to be going out. So we turn this knife switch off. Okay, this is the wire that's going out. This is the wire coming in. So this is going in. Okay, this is going to be, this is the one coming in. This is the one going out. So this is in. And this is out. So the one coming in will go to the top here. So we'll take the one with the tracer on it. Make a loop the direction that the screw turns, and it would go under. Now a way I, that's easy to get the wire into that screw and not lose it is take the screw out, put the screw this, the loop closer with the pliers. Make your loop. Put your screw into the loop snug. And put it in your hole. And screw it down. And again, just make sure the insulation just butts up to the bottom of the screw but doesn't get under the screw. And uh, now we'll take the black wire that's going out and we'll go to the screw on the bottom of the fuse. Again, we can make a loop in the wire the direction that the screw goes, turns. Put our screw in the, the loop around our screw. Close it so that the screw will hold it. And see how I have the loop going the direction that the screw turns? But see, I was looking at it backwards, so I'm going to take that out.
and I'm going to uh, see I looking at it backwards I put the loop on the wrong way so we'll turn it now it's going on the right way because I was looking at it backwards that's a very easy mistake to make so that's why I'm showing that to you and I made the loop so the whole the wire fits in it nice and snug Now we have two silver colored screws here for our neutral wires. Okay, we can make a loop the direction that the screw turns. Now this is stripped the longest I would accept and I close the loop around the screw. See how the screw is colored silver even back then? That means neutral. Okay, there's our other white wire. It's going to go down here. Again, we'll loop our wire the direction that the screw turns. Put our screw in. Close our loop around the wire. Make sure the insulation is not going to get pinched under there. And it will go up here on the neutral. And I'd make sure the insulation doesn't get caught under the screw. Alrighty. So we'll close the fuse box for a minute. And we will install our, uh, our uh, outlet the way it was done back then. So we would take our knife, strip this, cut this back. I would just score down here. I would have cut down in. See the little cord that's in here, that rope? I would pull that up. You would take the uh, off off the top. You got a string on the bottom in case you ripped it on the other side. So you just cut that off. Then you have the uh, cardboard that's wrapped around the conductors. So we'll take that off. See how that unwraps? This is the live one with the uh, two tracers in it. So we would unwrap that up to the end of the cable. Same with the one on the neutral side. We would cut the uh, cloth off, or the paper off. And we would 
put down our box. Okay, now uh, in real life that would be inside a wall and it would have this clamp and a screw to clamp the wire, but we can't do that because I'm just doing it as a tutorial on a board, but in real life it would have this clamp and that would be holding this jacket inside the box. So now we can go ahead and hook up our outlet. We'll strip our one with the, the black tracer on it. And we will strip the one without the black tracer on it. Now back then the outlets were all uh, two prong, brass screw, silver screw and uh, like it's done today the white which is the one without a tracer on it would go on your silver screw so you put the wire around the screw the direction that the screw turns close your loop and you would tighten it And uh, the one with the black tracer would go on your brass screw. And now we could go ahead and put our fuse in. I'll let you look at the inside of these fuses. See one is green and one is blue. This is number 14 wire and that was very common back then. So you'd only want to put a 15 amp fuse in. Because if you put a 30 in you could overload the wire and start a fire in your house. Notice they both have the same thread base. That is why they came out with the S-type fuse stat, so you can't put a 20 or a 30 where a 15 goes. So this fuse just screwed in like this back then. And it got turned on back then like that. There you can get a closer up view of what it looks like done. And there's the outlet from the, uh, the way they would have been wired back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Back in the 30s they would have been probably porcelain, but they looked the same as this Bakelite one, probably from the uh, late 40s, early 50s. So uh, thanks for watching.